Hong Kong reported 4,656 COVID-19 cases today. That's around 200 cases fewer than yesterday's tally. This morning, Chief Executive John Lee hailed the success of the relaxed airport quarantine measure in helping boost the economy. When asked whether further steps will be taken to loosen anti-COVID measures, the CE said more considerations are needed. Timothy Lee has more. The zero plus three arrangement for inbound travelers has been in place since last month. Chief Executive John Lee today said the measure has rejuvenated the tourism sector. Lee noted that the number of arrivals at the airport has risen by 30 percent compared with the last month, with foreign tourists rising by 80 percent. Accompanied by the recent relaxation of social distancing measures in the city's restaurants, some people are asking if it's time to adopt a zero plus zero scheme. We have introduced the zero plus three quarantine arrangement with good results, and many would like us to relax it further to a zero plus zero quarantine arrangements. But let me remind you that when I implemented zero plus three, I did mention a number of uncertain factors, which would require us to be cautious the number of uh, confirmed cases may rise, burdening our healthcare system. So we have uh, to tread carefully before we consider the next step forward. The take-up rates for three doses of COVID-19 vaccines in Hong Kong and Singapore are roughly similar. As Lee is set to deliver his first policy address later this month, will the government announce a schedule for Hong Kong to return to normalcy, following the example of Singapore? The CE believes the COVID policies of the SAR and other regions are not comparable. We should not compare ourselves with Singapore because we have a different health care system. We have a different culture, we have, people have different habits, so such a comparison is not meaningful. The chief executive is also concerned about certain people who attempt to enter premises that requires the vaccine pass while they are still carrying the red or yellow color health code. He criticized them for undermining the city's efforts to combat the virus and that they should be publicly denounced. Lee also commented on the fact that the enactment of Article 23 of the Basic Law has been deleted from the current year's legislative calendar. He said the government needs more time to assess the issue and the international geopolitical situation. Timothy Lee, TVB News.